Hello and welcome to the part 20 of my 2024 phone season simulation. If you missed the last part, part 19 in the US Grand Prix, make sure to check that one out. That was a very interesting Grand Prix, even though it was dominated by only one driver. You would never guess which driver was it, right? <laughs> okay, okay. Back to this uh, this part, round 20 for the Mexican Grand Prix. Uh, Mexico has not been the greatest track for racing in general in the past few years, but Hopefully the simulation can bring some exciting things to it. Uh, hopefully, yeah. Uh, in terms of weather, it looks like Mexico is going to escape all the rain once again. There's no rain expected for the entire weekend uh, as of this moment. And yeah, we can get to the upgrades. There's only one upgrade and it's a singular update to our car from Red Bull. Uh, which is, I mean, it's <laughs> not very exciting as Red Bull is currently uh, feeling like they have a more... Uh, they have a gap to the rest of the field, basically, like, uh, in front of them. Anyways, let's get into Q1 and let's see how is the packing order in the Mexican Grand Prix. As we see McLaren stopping the session, Piastri ahead of Norris. Uh, I should probably mention that Leclerc and Sonoda with no time set for both of them. Very unfortunate ending. Sonoda with a crash early, early in the session, brought on the red flag. And then there's Leclerc who suffered an engine failure. Uh, now there's out on his way to the second time lap. Both drivers end up with no time and will not uh, get into another qualifying session in Mexico. Uh, yeah, this this also means that the, the times may not be very representative as we all have Red Bull in P4 and P6. We probably expect them to be higher. And yeah, uh, that's pretty much it for Q1 uh, provisionally. We have McLaren stopping the session, but I would say that's uh, representative as of this moment. Yeah, let's get into the final classification. Let's see if there are any changes. And seems like there are no changes. Yeah, uh, confirmed there are no changes. This, this is the final Q1 classification. Out in Q1 is Baltas, Sergeant Joe, Leclerc, and Sunoda. Uh, two of them with no time set. Let's get into Q2. As we have Max Verstappen dominating the session, actually, almost half a second clear of P2 with Carl Sainz and P2, Fernando Alonso V3. Hamilton P4, Oscar Perez P5, Perez P6, Gasly P7, Norris P8, Ricardo P9, and Esteban Ocon in P10. With just outside the top 10, provisionally knocked out in Q2 is George Russell in P11, and Stroll in P12. And the two Hasses with Albon in the Williams uh, in the middle of them. P13, P14, P15 for them. Yeah, I think you would expect them any higher anyway. Um, Stroll P12 is a kind of uh, his placement right now and Russell with uh, very mediocre Q1 sucks or Q2 so far. Uh, provisionally, obviously, there may be some little lap times as we can see there are little lap times. But unfortunately for Russell, it's not enough. Uh, three drivers get little lap times. It's Gasly, Perez and Ricardo, all of them which, who drop positions. But unfortunately, Russell still gets knocked out uh, in Q2 in Mexico. So yeah, this is the final classification for Q2. Russell, Stroll, Hulkenberg, Albon, and Magnussen are knocked out. Let's get into Q3. So we have Max Verstappen on provisional pole by over half a second. Yeah, this is looking scary. Uh, Perez, uh, P2, but the gap to Max is almost six tenths of a second. Uh, it's just uh, ridiculous. Uh, McLaren's looking all right. I mean, the gap is red blue is insane, but they are in P3 and P4. Piastri ahead of Norris this time. Uh, Ocon P5, very good qualifying for him so far. Ricardo P6 as well. There's Hamilton P7, Alonso P8, Gasly P9, and Sainz with no time, suffering uh, reliability issues as well as Leclerc. But this time in Q3, so this means that both Ferraris suffered reliability issues during this qualifying. Very unfortunate for the Ferrari team. Um, yeah. Let's, get, let's see if there are any changes. There's the only one change, I believe, that's Hamilton losing his fastest time. So he drops from P6 to P9. So, yeah, uh, not like he would be very high up anyway. Uh, still a top 9 finish, thanks to Sainz. No time. Uh, so this is the final classification. Max on pole position. Yeah, no, no shock there. Let's recap the starting grid for the Mexican Grand Prix. So we have Max Verstappen. Lining up on pole position with Mag uh, sorry, Checo Perez in P2, then it's Oscar Piastri in P3, Norris P4, Ocon P5, Ricardo P6, Alonso P7, Gasly P8, Hamilton P9, and Carl Sainz in P10, then George Russell P11, Stroll P12, Hulkenberg P13, Albon P14, 
Jimmy Magnuson P15, Lotus P16, Sergeant P17, Joe P18, Leclerc P19, and Sunoda starting in last place. Let's see. The Mexican Grand Prix race results. Maybe they can be more interesting than the qualifying, at least from the from the top end perspective. As we see Max Verstappen winning the race. The Mexican Grand Prix with the fastest lap ahead of Checo Perez in P2. So a podium for the Mexican in his home Grand Prix is all right. Uh, and Lennon Norris in P3 completing the podium. So yeah, this is the other McLaren uh, in P3 now. Ocon with a great P4 and Hamilton in P5. Let's recap what happens during the race. Uh, with the DNFs obviously being Magnussen, Gasly and Bottas. Magnussen uh, with a driver error, unfortunately, uh, had some kind of incident with a wall <laughs> ended up being a red flag. Uh, Gasly, reliability issues, caused a safety car, and Bottas with reliability issues of his own, caused a virtual safety car. So free shuffles to the entire array of results, but unfortunately still a Red Bull 1-2 for some reason. <laughs> yeah, okay, let's recap the grid. Max obviously winning, Perez P2, Norris P3, Ocon P4, Hamilton P5, then it's uh, Aston Martin Alonso in P6, Piastri P7, Carl Sainz in P8, Lance Joe P9, and Daniel Ricciardo scoring a point finally in P10. Russell P11, so pretty much the same where he started. No change there. Leclerc P12 could manage to climb nine positions, oh, sorry, seven positions from a P19 grid spot. Uh, still no points. P13 for Nico Hulkenberg, P14 for Alex Albon, P4, P15 for Ricky Sonoda. Uh, five, five positions gained, excluding the DNFs, it's two. So another great recap for Yuki, uh, Logan Sargent on uh, P16 and Joe in P17, last of the finishing drivers, Magnussen, Gasly, Bottas, DNFs, obviously, as mentioned earlier. So yeah, let's see how it changed. The Rajar Championship standings after Mexico, around 20. Max is up and leading the way, now with an even bigger margin of 340 points. Now at this, at this rate, I should probably check uh, how many points are actually available. So I can actually check when exactly Max Verstappen does win the championship because it's getting very close, I believe. Uh, there are five Grand Prix left after this. No, it's actually four, but it was sprint. So that's 100 points plus sprint. So definitely he's not winning the trial championship here, but it may be on the next race. So I'll, I'll, I'll make sure to check the cal calculation for that. Uh, 340 points, five victories, 13 podiums, nine pole positions and 11 fastest laps. Fifth Fernando Alonso in P2, 231 points, three victories, seven podiums, three poles, and two fastest laps. Leonardis jumps to P3, John Leclerc uh, after Leclerc is having another scoreless, uh, scoreless race uh, an entire weekend, unfortunately for Charles. Uh, 221, 221 points for Norris, three victories, seven podiums, two poles, and a fastest lap. Leclerc drops to P4, 208 points, three victories, four podiums, two poles, and a Four fastest laps. Piastri remains in P5, 186 points, two victories, five podiums, three pole positions, and four fastest lap. P6 for Perez so far, uh, jumping Russell in the in the championship, which is which is good for Perez. A victory, five podiums, so finally getting to those podiums in at least. Uh, yeah, uh, Russell dropping to P7, 172 points, a victory, and seven podiums. Carl Sainz. Uh, remains in P8, 160 points, but is now tied on points with Lewis Hamilton, but is having, uh, is winning on count back as of this moment, so it's technically had uh, victory, five podiums, and a pole position for Lewis Hamilton, same points, but a victory, uh, two podiums, and a fastest lap for him. And his last show, finally breaking the triple digit point mark, 100 and 101 point. Uh, two podiums for him. Then it's Esteban Ocon, who uh, surprisingly jumps to Noda thanks to Countback. Now in P11, so jumps two positions. 53 points now. Yuki Tsunoda on the same amount of points, but in P12. Then it's Gasly, uh, arguably the better driver at Alpine right now, but behind his teammate in the championship once again. 46 points for Pierre and a podium. And it's Albon in P14, 19 points and a podium. P15 for Hulkenberg, P8, uh, so 18 points and a podium. 16 points for Logan Sargent in P16. P, uh, P17 for Daniel Ricciardo, gaining one point, but still only P17 on 15 points. 
uh, 18th place Valtteri Bottas 5 points, 19th place Magnussen singular point, and Wayne Joe is still yet to score points in P20 in the championship. Let's see the constructors, as we have Red Bull leading the way, obviously even with a bigger margin, 519 points, 6 victories. Now, uh, finally the team with most victories, as it should be uh, according to the constructors. 18 podiums as well, 19 pole positions at 11 fastest laps, so Red Bull leading the way in every single statistic as of this moment. McLaren, 470, sorry, 407 points, 5 victories, 12 points, 5 pole positions and 2 fastest laps uh, for McLaren in P2, P3 for Ferrari, kind of dropping from McLaren, uh, it looks like McLaren could secure the P2 in the championship as of this moment. 368 points for Ferrari, 4 victories, 9 podiums, 3 poles, and 4 fastest laps. So we have Aston Martin still tied on points with Mercedes, as both teams scored the same amount of points this weekend. Now of 332 points, 3 victories, 9 podiums, 3 poles, and 2 fastest laps. Meanwhile, Mercedes with the same amount of points, but 2 victories, 9 podiums, and a fastest lap. Alpine in P6, extending their lead over racing wheels to a very, very nice, nice cap. 99 points now for, for the French team and the podium. Thanks Racing Bulls in P7, 68 points, just one point shy of the nice number. Uh, Williams in P8, 35 points and a podium. P9 for Haas, 19 points and a podium. And Sauber in that last with five points so far from the simulation. So yeah, next up is the Bra Brazilian Grand Prix, which I believe is another sprint race a weekend. Uh, will probably drop in two days alongside the next weekend after this tomorrow. Uh, our predictions for the driver lineups for the next year. So basically, the 2025 driver market predictions with Ajax should drop tomorrow as recording. We're, we are recording it early in the day. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe, like the video, and comment down below what you want to see from my content uh, going forward. And as always, see ya.